I, I'm told that we have a phone report, and so we'll go to uh, Don Sterling on the news desk. Don. Yes, Lee, we do have Larry East up on the phone. He is one of our train spotters. And Larry, can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Larry, tell us what you see, where you are. I uh, actually just got off of I-55 on the south side of Springfield at the Toronto Road exit. About five minutes ago, uh, we had hail up to golf ball size that actually covered the interstate. Everybody came to a stop. Uh, right after that, we had a funnel cloud, and now I'm here at the exit at I-55 and Toronto Road just south of Springfield. And we have a lot of rotation right above us. Uh, I don't see any obvious funnel at this time, but uh, definitely a lot of rotation in the clouds here. Uh, going over the Toronto Road area, and it looks like all of this is moving due north. Due north. Now, Larry, this is what you do. You're a trained spotter. But for those who are not, maybe if they have a loved one coming home from work right now and can give them a call if they're listening to us on Storm Center 17, what do you advise for those driving and those in their homes right now? I think if you're driving, uh, I think if you're driving, you really need to get off and get into a building uh, and and not risk it because these storms are very rapidly developing. And just from what I saw a few minutes ago, these funnel clouds are developing rapidly and sometimes they're dissipating. But any of these storms have the potential of producing a tornado. And if you're at home, you know, don't wait to hear the sounds or hear the sirens. Go to the basement. Go to a safe place because this is a very volatile situation. Uh, any of these storms could develop into a tornado very quickly without much. Noted. Um, Larry, you've been in these situations before. You say it can develop very quickly um, and there is rotation over your head. Anything else you can tell us about where you're at and uh, what else you are seeing? Getting a lot of, uh, of wind here right now, uh, a cooler wind actually coming uh, coming toward me here, but uh, it, it now looks like this part of the cell has moved directly over the south side of the city of Springfield now. It's, uh, it's actually going right toward the downtown area, and I'm not seeing as much rotation in that area as I was about five minutes ago, but there is a period of very large hail with this, and uh, I would imagine that's going to continue moving right along I-55 uh, up along the east side of uh, Springfield. and. Uh, when it came down here, everybody had to stop because it literally covered the road. All right, Larry, we appreciate it so much for you checking in and letting us know what you're seeing. Stay safe out there. We're going to give it back to Lee and JC at this point because I think we have more watches and warnings. Well, there's a pretty good look uh, from our live camera at St. John's Hospital in downtown Springfield pointing to the south. You can see that cell and the edge of that cell, which would be to the east, east of Springfield. And if we can take a look at live Doppler 3D, I'll show you where Larry was just reporting from. Uh, he said that he was seeing some hail and some strong winds and uh, those are uh, in the area of Toronto Road on the south side of Springfield. Here's the cell that we're talking about. Here's Interstate 55. This would be Toronto Road, just, just to the north of Lake Springfield, right here. And now this cell is clearing that area to the north, but obviously moving into the Springfield area, and I'm seeing here a little bit of a notch, which concerns me. Larry had, and Larry's a train spotter of ours, had reported rotation above him and it certainly does not surprise me when I take a look at what we're seeing here with a little bit of what could be an inflow notch here the rotation would be in this part of the storm all of this moving into the Springfield area uh, on the phone Larry Estep uh, our train spotter who's out and uh, giving us information Larry first of all where are you located at this point Lee, I've actually uh, moved uh, back over onto uh, Toronto Road again. I, I started towards uh, Springfield, and there, I, I can tell you I was over Southern View just a couple of minutes ago, and there was rotation there. Uh, it now, looking uh, looking back towards the downtown Springfield area, it looks like that whole cloud base that's over Springfield right now has a tremendous amount of low-level rotation in it. But I've, I've moved back around south here to Toronto Road, and I'm looking uh, southwest right at the moment, and the sky is pitch black, uh, a lot of uh, uh, low-hanging clouds here. I, I don't see any visible rotation at the moment, but uh, we've definitely got a, another nasty storm moving this way. Larry, just so that you can keep yourself safe and continue to give us reports, please, as you can, uh, there is, and I, I want to clue you in if uh, you don't have your radar running uh, there in your vehicle, there is a core of a cell just to the due west of Chatham, 
and it extends all the way up to about Interstate 72, about halfway to New Berlin. That's moving to the north, uh, and again, all of these look like they're going at about uh, 30 to 35 miles an hour. Now, there is another area just to the south of this same cell that you're on, and that particular cell is down around the Pawnee area, and I'm seeing an inflow notch uh, at the back of that. Uh, we don't have any warning on it at this point, but uh, it too is moving to the north, and it's right at the south side of Lake Springfield. So yeah, while Lee, you're... Uh, Lee, actually, I can kind of confirm that visually now. I've moved over toward uh, Southwind Park here, and I'm looking uh, due south, and I can see that inflow uh, uh, occurring here uh, now, looking that direction. Uh, the cloud base is lifting a little bit, and I can see some inflow here, and looks like also some further almost due west um, from that, uh, the cloud base lowers a lot and there is uh, some rotation there, not at ground level right now, uh, nothing uh, like a clear funnel, but there's definitely some formation trying to occur here. Larry, we've got our picture up from our live camera at St. John's Hospital pointed right straight down 6th Street. Obviously, uh, we're seeing rainfall and the clouds, and this is the cell that we're talking about here as it's moving to the north into the Springfield area, into the downtown Springfield area. Uh, Larry, keep with us and uh, report back to us as you can, but first and foremost, uh, maintain uh, good distance so you're safe. And also, Larry, Absolutely. if you still hear me, this is JC. A uh, new tornado warning has been issued for central Sangamon County until 645 this evening. Uh, National Weather Service radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This storm was located near Pawnee or about 11 miles to the northeast of Verdon and was moving to the north at around 35. Springfield, Chatham, Rochester, Glenarm, Barry, Curran, Southern View, Jerome, and Leland Grove, you were in the path of this particular storm. I'm going to zoom down a little bit farther here on Live Doppler 3D. That's the one that Lee was just talking about. We've both been watching this very, very closely, and this storm has really started to crank up. And Larry Eastep is back on the phone. Uh, where are you on the south side of Springfield now, Larry? Uh, Lee, actually, I'm uh, in a safe place here. I moved to Southwind Park, uh, standing out front of Aaron Pavilion here on the uh, south side uh, of South 2nd Street. Just kind of watching this uh, uh, system here, I can tell you there's been a pronounced temperature change in the past few minutes with a very gusty uh, wind, very cold wind coming in. We've had a few bursts of, uh, of uh, rainfall, but uh, what I'm really watching is there's, there's a lot of rotation in this cloud base. Uh, nothing that I can say right now is a funnel, but... Uh, Everything that I, I, I've been seeing ahead of me uh, here up towards Springfield, uh, moving past me here right now, has got uh, a definite spin to it. Uh, just nothing at the moment that looks really threatening. So you're in the Southwind Park area. That would be just to the west of Interstate 55, south of the city of Springfield. Let's see if I can just, if we could zoom in a little bit, uh, JC, and get in a little closer. Uh, this would be the area. Here's Interstate 72, uh, 72 here, 55 there. So you'd be right about there. And it looks to us uh, on the radar like you're getting pretty heavy rainfall. Is that indeed uh, what you're seeing there at Southwind Park? It is actually just starting. I can see it coming across the field here from uh, Toronto Road right now. It, uh, it's just starting to downpour. Okay, well, at this point, uh, obviously, are you seeing any rotation in the cloud? Uh, the rotation now seems to, uh, uh, the rotation that I was seeing has moved now toward the city of Springfield. Now I'm not really seeing any rotation at all, but this was a very uh, ominous looking uh, cloud base that came through. Had a few little fingers that came down, but uh, they only lasted a couple of maybe five, ten seconds and then kind of went back up. It's very disorganized right in this area, it seems like, but there was definitely some rotation in this, and that cell would probably be right uh, over the south side of Springfield now. Okay, very good, Larry. Continue to uh, keep yourself safe. Just to the south of you, uh, we're seeing a little finger of uh, some drier air pulling in just east of the interstate and uh, would be uh, south of uh, uh, the Glen Arm, well, just east of Glen Arm, actually. So folks in the south wind area, I know there are a lot of homes there that may not be built on uh, a basement. An interior room is a good place to be. And there's a look at the O'Brien Auto Park of Urbana Storm Runner now on Interstate 72. And it looks like uh, he may have just come under uh, Illinois Route 4 on the west side of town. 
Uh, this would be about the area. Let's see. Here's Interstate 72, and this would be Route 4. Looks like he has come under there, and he's headed to the east, right into the teeth of this storm as it's moving to the north. Now, we're seeing a little dry intrusion on the far eastern edge of this cell and also on the south. So there may indeed be continued rotation. However, we just heard from Larry Eastep, Eastep train spotter, and he would be right about here just to the south of Springfield, just to the west uh, of Interstate 55, no more than about a quarter to a half mile or so. That's where South Wind Park is located. Of course, it's starting to get dark now, and so we're not quite going to be able to see things as well as we could. We rely on our people that are on the ground and absolutely able to give us ground truth reports. Uh, Larry Eastep has repositioned himself up Interstate 55 toward Broadwell. If we can get Broadwell up here on the radar, uh, we'll take a look at that and uh, see what we what we can see here. Uh, Broadwell would be right uh, right to the north of uh, Williamsville. What are you seeing there, Larry? Uh, Lee, right now we're getting some pretty heavy rain here. I can tell you on the way up here, I encountered dime-sized tail at the Williamsville exit. Uh, we had uh, uh, Penny the dime-sized tail down at uh, Sherman as I was driving up this direction. And in fact, several uh, vehicles uh, went off into the ditch uh, near Williamsville uh, on the different sides of the interstate because it was pretty slick for a couple of minutes there with the heavy rain coming down and the hail. Uh, we've had intermittent bursts of hail here uh, since I got to Broadwell in the past five or ten minutes. Uh, but it actually looks like over the top of me right now, the, the storm cells kind of lifted a little bit. I can see uh, uh, sunlight to the north. Uh, to the west, I've got uh, really dark clouds, a lot of tremendous lightning. And looks like just to the uh, southeast of me, I've got uh, the lowering of the cloud base uh, over here and uh, real heavy rain. Larry, i got a question for you. This is JC here. What have the winds been like uh, in your locations right along that leading edge there where you're at right now? Well, I can tell you the winds uh, uh, seem to be erratic at the moment. Uh, one minute they're, they're really gusting, and the next minute uh, they're, they're nearly calm. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to, to what they're doing right at the moment. They're, it's almost a dead calm as far as the winds go, and uh, the rain's actually letting up now. Well, Larry, thanks a lot for uh, getting out there and uh, giving us these reports. They're absolutely, Im it's imperative that we get uh, some good reports like that, and your uh, reports are very, very valuable to us as we convey the information to people across central Illinois. Ten after seven now, the tornado warning that's in effect for northwestern Logan County, east central Mason County, eastern Menard County, and extreme north central Sangamon County is uh, set to expire in just about another four or five minutes or so.